The Great British Radio Play presents Scramble, dystopian drama, by Martin Kisko. Imagine a Britain in which the state attempts to have absolute control over all its citizens, even to the extent that music and sound recording have been outlawed as subversive. A tale of love and treachery, in which an individual is pitted against enormous odds. the whistling of the wind you're hearing? It's not the wind. And it won't go. You know I've always had it. It's that tin heater. Tinnitus, Mel. It'll pass. It's called tinnitus. Whatever. I hate it. I hate it. Press in on your ears. That used to help. That's useless. I want to go. Shh, quite a moment. Let me record. This is Levant Tallis, Stonehenge, July the 12th, 2079. Wind howling. Take one. Can we go now? No, I need one more. Hear how the wind blows through them. Oh, such a beautiful sound. Maybe to you. Imagine that sort of thing going on and on in your head. Just think. These stones have been here for over 4,000 years, since the ancients. Who? The ancients. A people who believed this circle of stones was like a huge satellite dish. They believed it collected sounds from far away. How far? From the universe. Sounds bigger than the Big Bang. Uh, perhaps bigger. Why did they want them? We don't know. Uh, but they also thought the stones could transmit sounds back to the heavens. I don't believe that. Do you? Why not? Because you have to prove it. Uh, That's what Mum used to say. Remember? Yeah, we can sometimes believe without proof, Mel. That's stupid. Can we go now? No, I said one more recording now. Shh. This is Levant Tallis, Stonehenge, July the 12th, 2079, wind howling, take two. Why are you always collecting these stupid random sounds? Well, they seem random now, but I can make music from them. Perhaps I'll compose a chacon. What's that? Well, it's music with something called a ground bass, a low repeating pattern of notes. The harmony and the melody fit over it, get it? Whatever. <laughs> You'll understand when you become a composer like your dad. I'll be so proud of you. I told you, I don't want to be a composer. I want to be a scientist, like Mum. That's more useful. Perhaps I'll discover a cure for the virus that killed her. Well, remember, Mel, the greatest thing is music. Take everything away, but music will always be inside us. Uh, I just want to get rid of this ring in my ears. Peters to Commander, Mission 90, January 1st, 2103. 1600 hours. Receiving you. Go ahead. We're over Stonehenge, sir. Suspect in sight. He's got a sound recorder. Circle and capture his sound. Zooming in. Playing back sound capture. Levant Tallis, January the 1st, 2103, Stonehenge. Recording on a vintage Walkman circa 1990s. Sound effect number 439, wind. Levant Tallis, composer and sound terrorist, leader of the Scramblers, escaped the compulsory implant procedure. Current mission to destroy the government's machine. Proceed with caution, Peters. I want him alive. Pilot, let's go in closer and put me on external. This is a directive of the Global Western Hemisphere. All sound is suspect. All music is outlawed. You are charged with the possession of subversive sound. Surrender yourself. It is illegal to possess recorded sound. Pieces to Commander. He's ditched the evidence. Track him. He's taken to the woods. Lost him. Damn. Now get a search out for the recorder. Security, 
This conference call will retune at designated intervals to your implant's secure frequencies. This is my second communication as Commander-in-Chief of the Global Western Hemisphere. And again, I am pleased to report further progress on which I salute you, agents and scientists alike. Since the installation of the machine, we've monitored almost all speech through the implants inserted into 95% of the population. The machine hears everything. A question? Yes, Agent Daniels? Sir, what about the free speech allowance? Uh, the monthly two hours is for medical issues only and restricted to Category A personnel. We'll be removing this facility within the next three months. Uh, yes. Peters? The pockets of resistance still elude us. Where should our energies be directed? The machine informs us that the scramblers are highest priority, especially since they've formed underground allegiances with the Zarts. The scramblers may be hearing perceptives with an ability to scramble and transmit data unintelligible to the machine. Their preferred language for scrambling? Music, which we outlawed years ago. Should such scramble messages infiltrate the machine, the government's investment in Project Eclipse could be jeopardized. We want their leader, Levant Talis, number one sound terrorist. Levant, you almost brought the chopper straight to the cave. My timing was perfect. Any data on you? My notes on Project Eclipse and material for the music school. <laughs> now, don't worry. Even if they find it, they've still got nothing. Vintage Walkmans and water don't mix. Look, about the music school, the other groups aren't convinced. Listen, Project Eclipse is a lethal data-based weapon. Maybe they'll be convinced when the government uses the machine to transmit it. The machine is the key. Get inside the machine and we can disarm the weapon. The machine is manned by scientists analysing sound data around the clock. Even if you found a way of hacking into it, why is your score so crucial? I ran tests from the Zarts lab. Even in its unfinished state, parts of the score bypass the machine's filter. Let me show you. Now, this section against this one. Listen. Double up the tracks, and there's enough white noise in which to conceal scrambled data. It's too late, Levant. There are the groups voted. No confidence. Who discovered the machine? And Project Eclipse. Are you questioning my leadership? It was unanimous. They're looking at other methods. My score could save us. What might they take from us next? What's left of our freedom? The planet? Who knows? It was a mistake. You brought the agents too close for comfort. I can work on it. I'll get it finished and prove it. Look, didn't I sacrifice everything for the cause? Didn't I? We look at other methods. Wait. There's another way of accessing the machine. It's not perfect, but I have done it. Bypassing an operator's implant. Did the operator speak to you? There was no response. Only I spoke. It was the first time since... It's a delicate situation. It needs the right time, the right data, cooperation... Who's the operator? Well, I told you, it's it's a delicate matter. We need the name, Levant. We don't move without a name. It's Mel. My daughter. She built the machine. Jason, request update for personal implant software. Entering data. Requesting update and temporary shutdown on Mel and Jason implants. Agreed. Three, two, one, and implants offline. We can talk freely. Can't guarantee how long we'll get. Even by my standards, that's a clever little trick of yours. I use it when I need a private moment. Know what I mean? Not even the machine would want to listen to that. Now, what have we got? It's your father. He's hacked in again. Scrambled a message and bypassed every gate and filter you built. What do you want to do, Mel? Reject signal. And I told you, don't call Avant my father. He's a sound terrorist. The machine is my father, my son, my brother. Your lover? My lover? Yes. So that's why you don't have a family? 
families are for the unambitious. No go on signal reject. Levant's locked onto our implants and he's not going away. He's even scrambling into us while we're on update. Very impressive. The machine can't detect him. I'll report it. Wait! Report this and the machine looks deficient. The commander will see that as human error. Do you want to build the next generation machine? Try and stop me. I'll talk with him. Transfer and descramble signal. If the commander finds out, you'll be off the build in the next machine. Me too. I've got all the audio systems contracts. I could retire on that. He won't and you'll say nothing, Jason. So what makes you think I'd throw it all away? Perhaps you think I'm a bit rusty in audio retrieval systems, but I do know when the machine has been downloading forbidden music files to your palm corder. Pretty good, eh? Cleverly disguised in machine code. It's only a hobby. That's why I let it through. But I don't think the commander or the government would understand it in quite the same way. What was it you downloaded? Latent codes in popular rock music of the Western Hemisphere, 1960 to 2015? That's geeky, dangerous and classified as a punishable offence. If you didn't have that brilliant brain, I'd have made sure you were out years ago. Transfer the signal. Wow. You hacked my files. Magic. Not easy. Any chance of dinner if the machine doesn't show? Thought not. Okay, transferring. There's a national time for the speed, please. It's your father, Mel. Levant, I'm impressed. How did you bypass the extra auditory receptors this time? You wouldn't understand. Let me try. Perhaps some scrambled music you wanted to shove down my throat as a kid? Something like that. You've gone too far, Levant. Mel, I need your help. We can talk again. Why should I? You walked out years ago, disowned me, branded me a traitor because our ideologies didn't fit. Because I happened to get a real career. Otherwise what? A composer like you, wasted, underground and running scared? Leave me alone. Don't you know sound stalking's a crime, punishable by... Death. I know. You have to get out of there, Mel. One more time, Levant. The government aren't involved in any threat or conspiracy. <sighs> Remember, if it wasn't for them, I'd never have realised my ambitions. Mel, I know there's a lot gone between us, but you must listen. Listen to you? You're just as selfish as ever. Like when I was a kid, all the times you told me to shut up while you were recording. Mel, I always thought about you. You thought about me? When? When you were building weapons for resistance groups and killing innocent people? They weren't innocent, Mel. The government is preparing a data-based weapon. Your machine is the transmitter. That's what Project Eclipse is all about. That's just scrambler propaganda. Subversive communications breed crime. The government's right to suppress the... Bullshit! You're wrong. It's completely the opposite. Remember how effective ultrasonics were in the last war? These are irrational fears and fairy tales, Levant. It's no wonder my mother never read any to me. You were so full of them yourself. She couldn't stand it. Now leave me alone. Contact puts my life at risk. Levant? Signal terminated. He's gone, Mel. Oh. Oh. oh! I hate it! I hate it! What's wrong, Mel? Nothing. Is it a machine error? No. I'll scan it. No, Jason, I said no! You know what? If I was guessing... I'd say you've got an auditory disturbance of the middle ear. Keith Moon of The Who had that. I'd even go for the designer of the greatest sound receiving machine in the world suffers from tinnitus. Now isn't that ironic? Ironic, yes. You'll say nothing, that's an order. Didn't show up on your medical then? It's been latent. Minor relapse, forget it. Hold it. Three seconds to implants online. Software update complete. Message input. Commander and Peters approaching. Commander, Agent Peters. Sir, we're honoured by your personal visit. Is it a problem or a promotion? Our signal trace for Levant paid off. Machine security located a scrambled signature at the first input stage. It was him. Did any such message reach the machine room? Levant didn't hack through this far, sir. Jason? Nothing, sir. Search the signature. We need his location. Signature has erratic waveforms. Negative. Keep trying. Now, Jason, you're the vintage audio expert. Take a look at this. It was Levant's. Ah, classic Walkman. 
circa 1990s, metallic blue, poor condition, logo intact, snazzy. But what about the data? Audio tape, magnetic ferrous oxide, it's a C90, severely water damaged, irretrievable data. What's so important about it? Years ago, the government aborted an attack by sound terrorists. They transmitted music files, concealing plans to destroy our uranium reserves and hack into the hemisphere's central bank. Luckily, it was crudely scrambled, but a close call for the government. That's why we culled all musicians and composers. We believe Levant is working on a similar music system that could sabotage both the machine and Project Eclipse. He's been branded a modern-day ancient. <laughs> An ancient? They're a myth. Something the Americans of the 20th century fed the press with. Same as that nonsense about aliens. Whether ancient or scrambler, Levant escaped our clutches. He is dangerous. Retrieve the data. Sir, there's an alert from machine security. Another message traced to Levant. Hold it at machine port. Holding. Calculate location. Calculating. My God! Look at the signal. He's evading the search and still locking on to us. Almost as if he's a regular visitor. Can you explain this, Mel? He's first time lucky, sir. The machine's tracking. Nearest source for signal is zone T-34. He's all yours. That's Stonehenge again. Bring him in for interrogation. Levant Tallis, recording on personal dicta drive, August the 6th, 2103. Wind at double circle of Bluestone's Stonehenge, take two. Oh, not again! Engage dicta help. Help file engaged. Set time release message. Time release message engaged. Input message. This is Levant Tallis. In the event of my death, this drive will release collected data to assist any scrambler or other designated personnel on recognition of voice patterns L1 to L4. Accepted. Helicopter approaches oh. in current zone. Chase imminent. I'm gonna be too old for this. Increase speed. Return to workshop. Microchips of score are left in full view. Oh, shit. Agents have activated lasers yeah. to stun. Yes, I noticed. What now? Engaging laser avoidance system. Turn right 30 degrees. Left 10 degrees. Left. Estimate you will reach cave entrance before a helicopter lands. Now go right 40 degrees. Update. Agents forcing an entry. Oh. Microchip copies of score will be visible to agents in 30 seconds. So tell me a hiding place then. Eat the chips. You're joking. That's not very healthy. Eat or they'll go anyway. Down the hatch. Dispose of drive. Suction vent for drive is to your left. It'll be conveyed to safe haven four. The oak tree. Good luck, Levant. Your most likely escape route is exit two, with a five to one chance of survival. Dispose of this drive. He's eating the score. Mm. Stop him and take him alive. <coughs> Spit him out. Come on. I don't know what you mean. <coughs> take him to interrogation. Camera interrogation system ready, sir. Strap him in. We're going to make a little film, Levant, to entertain some of your friends. 18 certificate, presumably. Whatever next. <coughs> You're vermin, Levant. Like all scramblers and zarps. Oh, flattery. Quite a virtue for an agent. Eating microchipped music. Whatever next. Violins, guitars. Perhaps Daniels can move some of it along your gut a bit. <coughs> <coughs> Now we've had starters, let's discuss the main course. Where's the data for the score? The sounds you collected? I have no sounds. <laughs> A composer without sounds? Daniel, serve the main course. <coughs> let's make it simple. The dicta drive. Where's the dicta drive? It got trashed. And the guarantee was out. Shame. Good bit of kit. Switch on the earpiece. <coughs> Like our little toy. 
music to my ears. Increase the volume. Ah! Where's the scrambler's bass? Don't know any. You had musical instruments. Only Zarts build prohibited instruments. Where are they hiding? They're not mine. I don't know. Zarts. Increase to maximum. Do you have accomplices in the machine room? In the receiver room? In government? Machine. Who do you know? Increase decibels and tone. I... I am... Go on. I... am proud... of... a machine. He's lost it. Pulse. He's dead. Remove his ears. Keep the camera running, then dispose of him. It's Peters. He's online. Put him through. Jason, we've been waiting for the Levant data. No go. Vintage Walkman. He knows his stuff. Totally irretrievable. Try again. It's all we've got. Levant's dead. Dead? Didn't work out. I'm forwarding a film of the last few minutes of Levant's life. Transmit it on any stray scrambler frequencies you've got. Once they see what we do to scramblers and how he switched allegiance in his dying moments, They'll be running like rats. Switched allegiance? How? Said he was proud of the machine. We finally got through to him. I'll be at my terminal. Show me the film. <coughs> he took off his ears. I wouldn't have wished that on anyone. What kind of government would do that? You could never have known it would go this far. But look at it logically. It would only take one sound terrorist to copy the tactics of the suicide bombers of the last century and, and the machine and everything you've worked for would be useless. Maybe. Rewind it a bit. I am proud of the machine. How could he have changed sides? He didn't. He never would. What he meant was he was proud of me. That's the first time he said he was proud. All those years apart, he might as well have been dead. And now he is. Mel, you're not responsible. Levant was as selfish as they come. If he was prepared to die in interrogation, I think he had good reasons. Give me the Walkman. The date is irretrievable. Give it here, I want to try something. There's nothing you can do. I said give! Take it. But you're wasting your time. Fill in for me. I'm signing off sick. I'm at home if you need me. Welcome home, Mel. Computer access machine. Don't I get an hello? Sorry, I spoke. Hello. Did you have a good update? Are we friends again? Now, access machine. I had a good update, thank you. Accepted. Machine online. Mute my implant. I'm using some of my monthly allowance. State reason to machine. Consultation with my gynaecologist. Accepted. Voice recognition ident? Mel. Password? Magnum. Load and access archive audio tools. Attempt to restore tape fragment. Tools loaded? Attempting data restoration. Playback. Increase tape speed by 25%. Splice. Resplice. Transform and re edit. And playback. Activate cleanup tools. Descramble. Computer record. It is, in fact, a weapon, a lethal weapon, traced in government file project Eclipse. Entry code 4LDF underscore 80102 slash J09. Computer, access machine via my secure network. Input recorded code. Latched. Code accessing machine classified files. One of one. Memo. Number of lines, one. Project Eclipse, weapon system approved, orange status, final tests, and arm. Hide access, sign out of machine. Accepted, signed out. Computer, call Jason. Mel. Jason, we can speak, I'm on allowance. I found something on the tape. Don't tell me. 
Not that Missing Queen album from 1981, is it? That's a real gap in my collection. It was Levant's voice. Who else? It was his Walkman. But cool. How did you reconstitute the tape? Remember archive audio tools? Primitive school teaching package circa 2085. No. Tell. The restore facility worked first time. And? I was wrong. Project Eclipse is a data weapon. What are they going to do with it? I don't know. There was a government file reference. They must have one hell of a programmer. I'd like to take a look at it. It's not some geek game to get off on, Jason. OK. But you have to get back, Mel. It's the Levant signatures. The commander suspects Levant made a previous communication. That puts us in an awkward position. That's more dangerous than awkward. Stay and we'll end up like Levant. Hey, hold on. I wasn't looking at getting out, more of covering up. Covering up? What planet are you on? It's too late. We're out of here. What about the machine? Separation mutual, but we're still good friends. You want to stay and build the next one? Go ahead, but hang on to your ears. One way or another, you'll be found out. OK, so they find I led in Levant's message. I was just following your orders. Not smart enough. What about your downloads? Doesn't look good, does it? When I trace to the Zarts, you've been using them to supply prohibitive music. That's enough to put you away for good. It's only a question of time before they work out that some machine code they're looking at is an album from 1986. Oh. Devil or the Deep Blue Sea? I need the very best analyst with me on this. No. I have this kind of strange picture in my mind's eye of the commander trying to get to grips with Queen's greatest hits. Let's talk about it over dinner. Dinner? Mel? What's going on? Mel? Mel, are you there? Hold the line, I need my pills. Line holding for one minute. Warning, your personal allowance expires in one minute. Oh, oh, I hate it, I hate it. Line terminating. Mel. Mel, wake up. Here, drink this. Thanks. What happened? My ears. It's getting worse. Stress. Long hours. And what with Levant's death? Mel, continuing personal allowance. One minute, Owen. Proceed. Replay Levant audio. Jason, listen to this. It is, in fact, a weapon. A lethal weapon. Traced in government file project Eclipse. <laughs> and look. Computer, display the government file. Levant was brilliant to hack through this far. Even you should be proud of a father like that. But what kind of weapon is it? And against who? The Eastern Hemisphere? Well, it's possible, but we've had detente since the last war. OK. So they're targeting scramblers and zarts? Or what if it's a weapon that could sense a visual communication as well as sound? God forbid. No 1960s album covers as well as soundtracks. I wouldn't make that a priority. We have to get to grips with Project Eclipse. Find how Levan intended to sabotage it. We can't do it with our implants still in. I know the Zarts can remove them, and I know you have the contacts. The Zart I know has a backstreet lab. Say nothing till we get inside. Mm. Their scanner will block our implants. Warning. Allowance terminated. What a place. Pretty good for the back of a sushi bar, eh? Hey? This is Carl. Hi. All right. What about the instruments? We're totally soundproofed. I've been building and playing here for years. <laughs> Even when the agents have been eating sushi on the other side of that wall. <laughs> is that what I think it is? Built from scratch. Based on fragments of the last remaining ark. <sighs> Almost burnt to ashes on the government's wastelands. This one's going to a collector who's completing an orchestra. There are still orchestras? Well, not sizeable ones. You need players with scrambled or extracted implants. Mm. Bit risky. Most buyers go for our line in robotic players. Carl, we need a few things. Aye, we heard about Levant. We'll help all we can. What do you want? We need our implants removed. Infrasonics and a few gadgets. You'll feel the odd rumble at the base of your skull, but that's all. Anything else? Yeah, we've got some material Levant recorded. It's a fragment of the file left on his dicta drive. If we can find the drive, it may explain how he intended to sabotage the government's weapons project. It isn't only the government that has everything covered. 
We got hideaways and dead letter drops all over the country. We use them as safe havens for hardware. Don't worry, we'll find Levant's drive. Now, how are you gonna pay? I thought you wanted to help out. Zarts have to live somehow. It'll be a few thou. I'll throw in an audio translator, version four, cash only. Done. Anything else? Jason, you might be interested. We've recently acquired some vintage recordings. Vinyl, surface scratching only. Can be cleaned up for a price. Carl, time's of the essence. Let's deal with our implants. OK. Insert these sound coils into each ear. Computer, start implant scramble and erase. <sighs> Sir, we've lost track of their implants. The mole will verify their location soon enough. The mole? Government, special personnel, even I don't know the identity yet. They're going undercover and looking for one clean swoop on zarts, scramblers, or any jumped-up hippies who fancy themselves as ancients. Took a few days longer than we thought, but we've got Levant's dick to drive. It's still in good shape. Sounds promising. Jason, look at this. Levant's file has got a remnant of a work by those composers culled by the government. Listen. Levant has put frequency markers throughout that serious work. And something else. The group drew up this list of Neolithic sites. But what's that got to do with Project Eclipse? Or perhaps the site names are some kind of access code? Or perhaps weapon data's concealed at the sites themselves? I don't think so. Levant's list has a definite link to this music. So there must be a specific connection between the music and the sites. A connection only a composer of that era would know of. Carl, are any of them still alive? Well, there's old Aidan. He survived the call and paid the price for it. If he is still alive, alive isn't a word I'd use. Can you take us to him? Well, the question is whether he'll see you. There's very little left of him. <laughs> Shit! It's a raid. Computer, go to camera. Agents approaching. It's Peters! How did they find us so quickly? The implants. The monitor shows there was a stray transmission on Jason's implant before we blocked it. Careless talk. There was no careless talk. Perhaps he missed something, like a residual echo off the implant. Come on, follow me. Shoot to stun. Get down. Spray the place. Let's roll the piano. Come on, push. Look out! You go. I'll cover. And sorry. About what? Your harp. No, not the harp. I said go! Mel, look out! Block her, Jason! Jason, no! Ah! Quick, this way! What about Jason? Down here, to the sewers. Wait for me! Find them! I'm here. Quick, along here. Keep to the centre. You'll avoid the rats, but there's more... We know what's down here, Carl. God, the stink! Ow! Hold on a minute. Jason, are you all right? It's just a stun. Lucky. They were probably down on power. Could be a bit of business there. Power cells for government lasers. That is if I ever want to switch sides. Sorry, just a joke. It's not funny, Carl. Can you manage to move on, Jason? Yeah. You look unsteady on that leg. I think Mel should check the wound. Why should I check it? You're the scientist. I'm the musician. I'll watch out. Ouch! What do you think? It's a bit raw. You'll live. Come on. Move it. Over there. That's where we go up. Right. Get out, quick. Jason, close the cover. Right. Now grab this rubbish bin, pull it over the oak. Good. On cue. There he is. Who? Scarlatti. I don't see anyone, Carl. See the cat? That's Scarlatti. He's a zart. Follow him. He carries a scanner. Blocks government traces in this neck of the woods. Go. Go, I'll check behind. Jason, we're following a cat. Are you sure we can trust Carl? Don't worry. OK, I've got a car round the corner. How much further is it? This is it. 
Sunny View Transit Homes Park. Seen sunnier days, that's for sure. Also known as the Wastelands. My God. What happened here? The great government cover-up. Largest site in the hemisphere. 70,000 transit homes torched. But why? The transmission of anti-government data were traced here. They smoked the place out, killed thousands of innocent people. Did you know about this, Jason? Well, it wasn't the issue whether the community torched themselves to bring down the government. Some kind of suicide plot. That's insane. Hey, that's what I heard. I'm only the audio guy. Aiden was the sole survivor. Near burnt to a crisp. They couldn't implant him. Too much damage to his neural pathways. So they left him here to caretake the furnaces they built. Still burning music from the last century. There's your last living composer. Reduced to lashing tarpaulin around his wreck of an home. Aiden, Who wants him? Looks like you've got your work cut out for you. Let's give you an hand. Jason, come on, you take that end. If you're agents, I've got a right to be here. The furnaces are stoked. Check them if you like. I keep myself to myself. You won't find one decibel of illegal sound unless the sea and rain are censored these days. Now, tie it back to that metal rod. That's the one. So... You're not agents. Who are you? My name's Mel. This is Jason. And that's Carl. He's a Zart. Resistance group, then. I can't help. Aiden, my father was a composer like you. There's a squall brewing. If you know what's good, you're clear off now. He was working on a score. A score the government wanted to destroy. Sounds about right. I got away with my life once. I'm not going there again. Could we come in? Huh? Hurry up! We bought you something. <sighs> pan pipes. I haven't seen pan pipes for years. Let me see. Well, even Apollo couldn't match this beauty. Aiden, did you know my father, Levant Tallis? I met other composers. He may have been one of them. Who knows? Levant was killed by agents. He left two important documents on his dicta drive. A remnant of a music score and a list of Neolithic sites. Any idea what that could mean? I told you I'm a lame duck. I don't want to be a dead one. Aiden. What would happen if I was to pass these pipes with your prints on to government agents? I could say I found them right here. Show me the score. Dick to drive display score. I thought all that had been destroyed. You know what it is? Saw it a long time back. It's the work of a group of composers known as the Culled Ten. Go on. They were continually re reworking the score. I had my theories. And? These fragments here, they look like musical movements. I thought they might be linked to the sites in some way. But how? Environmental. Natural music. Sounds created by wind, water, ice. Even the wind blowing through stones. Mel and Jason believe the purpose of the score is to sabotage a government weapon. A weapon? Against whom? Well, that's what we need to find out. It's called Project Eclipse. <clears throat> My advice, forget it. Why? Why? Because of what I heard from the dying lips of one of the ten. It meant all this was destined for failure. I don't understand. Once the score was complete, they said that only a descendant of the... ancients, they rummaged around Stonehenge 4,000 years ago, would have the knowledge to unlock the power of the score. To be effective, it had to be performed by one of their line, a special individual, a messiah, if you like. Without that... Ancient, you're wasting your time. Ancients? Come on, Aiden. That's all nonsense. Is it? Rumours of government vaults in which the remains of ancients were kept for experiments. Remains that were intact, except for the ears. Others said the government discovered that the ancients could hear and transmit sounds that would have immense power over the earth. 
Perhaps they wanted that power for themselves. And you really believe that? I believe. <coughs> I believe that without an ancient, you're looking for a needle in a haystack. It's a search we have to make. We've got some sands to collect first, starting with the Gloucestershire Longstone. Ah, that'll be the standing stone at Minchinhampton. Weather beaten, more holes than stone. Should make quite a good sound then. Mm -hmm. One more question. The talisman you wear, where did it come from? Family heirloom, passed down generations. Oh. We'll be in touch. Don't count on it. And hey, leave me those panpipes. The long stone. There it is. Keep going. Closer. Can't you hear? Over here. This is a better angle, as the wind increases. Jason, set the drive to record. Wind's picking up again. Get ready. Isn't it beautiful? Ready. Ident, Gloucestershire Longstone. Recording at the burial chamber of the Whispering Knight Stone Formation, Oxfordshire. See how the stones lean towards each other, like the figures of knights in armour. That creates the whispers. Record. So what is this thing? Burial chamber. Can you get an extreme close-up of water hitting the capstone? Go in closer. Ident. Zena Coit Burial Chamber. Rain on Capstone. Access computer. Welcome home, Mel. Before you don't ask, I had a good day. Line up geographical sites with sound samples. Arranging and processing. Play samples. Look for encryptions. Processing negative encryptions. Call Jason on scramble frequency 1.849. Online. Jason. Can't speak now. I'm downloading some EPs. EPs? What are they? On vinyl singles. They were big in the 1960s. Can't they wait? Look, I've drawn a blank on the sounds we collected. Audio analysis. Nothing I can't do. Great. On one condition. Hmm? Dinner. At my place. <clears throat> well, this is quite a turnaround for a woman who once said the machine was her lover. <laughs> Saving my life. Mm -hmm. Seduction. Sex and whiskey in bed. How could the machine compete? <laughs> Wait, Jason. What about the audio stuff? Don't worry. It's all in there. <laughs> Your laptop's programmed to deliver when cooked. <laughs> I never thanked you properly for saving my life. You're thanking me now. <clears throat> Mel, your result. Here it comes. Let me listen. We can do both. <clears throat> Results negative. Check for frequency maps. Negative. <clears throat> Check for other internal relationships. Negative. Rearrange material at times ten. <clears throat> No codes, encryptions, or relationships. No, no, stop. Now what? I'll reprogram it later. There have to be some kind of compositional rules by which this material's organised. Composition? You're on your own. Didn't you learn anything from Levant? Time to get back to Aiden and brush up on our scales and harmony. If you don't open it, I'll have to force it. Wait. I told you to stay away and stop wasting your time. Aidan, I need you to take another listen to Levant's music score. I told you everything. I don't believe you. Do it for Levant, Aidan. Why would I do it for Levant? I wasn't sure before, but I am now. Of what? The talisman you wear. I remember now. Levant carried it everywhere. I don't think you took it, Aidan. I think he gave it to you. What if he did? He'd only give it to someone he cared about. I think you were important to each other. It was at the point I'd lost everything. Levant took me under his wing, taught me everything I know. He wanted me in with the scramblers. 
I wouldn't. I knew he was getting into some heavy government stuff. I knew it would be dangerous. I tried to warn him. That's all I could do. He was obsessive. You owe him, Aidan. Listen to the score. <sighs> Play it. Needs a structure. Musical form. Computer, scan musical forms and rearrange material to fit. Processing. Negative on Rondo. Theme and variations. Sonata or symphony. Your father had a favourite piece. Do you remember? Some kind of violin piece? Bach's Chacon uses a ground bass, a repeating bass pattern on which the upper parts of the work fit harmonically and melodically with the lower. Computer, try Chacon. Processing. All upper parts have pitch and harmonic relationships. That's good. Look for encryption. None detected. Not surprising. There's no bass part. The ground bass is missing. Affirmative. Ground bass absent. No sound sample. Sample is necessary to trigger any encryptions in upper parts. So where is the sample? All I know is this. Levant would have expected to find a sample of this type at Stonehenge, in the vicinity of the heel stone. 35 tons of rock. OK. Jason, you pick up the sound from Stonehenge. I'll fine-tune the other sections with Aidan. I'll take Alice. Who's Alice? My dick to drive. I call it Alice Cooper. You wouldn't get it. You're looking for a repetitive pattern, a subterranean waveform. You'll need a dual rod transcorder. Hard to come by. I know. The government put them into meltdown. There's only one I know of. It won't come cheap. Don't tell me. Carl? He'll hire it if he goes with it. I was thinking about Carl. The business with the agent storming his lab. You don't think... I don't know. Couldn't you persuade him to let you go it alone? If it's the transcorder you want, we take it or leave it. The Zarts at Stonehenge have tagged some wildlife round here. Keeps the agents chasing foxes instead of Zarts. <laughs> they stay pretty much undercover, then. Ah, there's a cave northeast of here. The Zarts are safe there. You go ahead. Check it's all clear at the stones, then give me the signal. Aye, OK. Jason to Peters. Jason to Peters, read me on reserve implant frequency 3.467. Frequency 3.467, receiving you, Jason. The Zarts have a cave. Due northeast, over. Confirmed. Proceed with mission. Got you. Didn't you see my signal? What took you so long? Who were you talking to? It was Mel. We have a two-way communicator, my own design. Tuned into a rogue frequency. Let me speak to her. I've got all the instructions. We're paying top money for this. Let's get the sound. There may be things to clarify about the sound pattern. Don't worry. Mel will sort it. We need to get it back as soon as possible. Sync the recording rods in here and here. Checking levels. Recording. Loop complete. We've got it. Now give me the chip for safekeeping. Wait. What is it? I'm picking up an SOS. It's the Zarts. Uh, we haven't got time. Give me the chip. Wait. It's the Northeast Cave. You told the agents. Give me the chip. That's quite an antique. The ZG-14. I'm surprised the agents have still issued that class of laser. That model's useless against a Zart. Don't call my bluff. Hand it over. <laughs> How much did they buy you for? Was it in safe havens or bonus? <laughs> I need the chip. And when Mel's created the score to sabotage Project Eclipse, I'll take that too. Quite a radical career route to taking control of the Western Hemisphere, don't you think? Useless. I told you. The chip. <laughs> It stays with me! Frequency 3.467. Everything OK, Jason? Do you have the chip? Yeah, I've got it. And the Zart? Dead. Get back to Mel's lab. The commander wants the score by tomorrow. 
Mel, let me in. Computer, open door. Jason, you didn't call. Did you get the chip? Safe and sound. Where's Carl? Oh, didn't make it. Couldn't be trusted. Sold out to the government. Shit. So my instincts were right then. Even sold out the whereabouts of his art base. Do you think he passed on any information? What about the sound sample? Impossible. OK. Computer, download chip. Place material in baseline of score. Rearrange parts to fit. 380,000 possible vertical alignments. Oh. Only a few more than I expected then. How long's that going to take? Estimate three days. We need it in the next 24 hours. What are the odds of aligning the sample first time round? 40,490,000 to 1. Also detecting corrupt data on the head of your recording. <sighs> Repair requested. I'll call you when it's fixed. Jason. Jason, why is it taking so long? Corrupt data. She's fixing it. Then there's processing time. Time we don't have. The machine needs the completed score to learn how to ignore such data. Otherwise, Project Eclipse is at risk. We had a deal, Jason. I'm sure I can find a way. Perhaps we'll get lucky. Did you compute the odds? About... about 3,000 to 1. Good. Mel trusts you, Jason, and we trust you. We know it's impossible to get that information by force. She'll always hide something, memorise some significant number system, directory route. You are the key. Bring us the completed score. No score, no reward. Waking Mel. Waking Mel. <laughs> Progress? Corrupt data restored. Error located. Score configuration incorrect. Incorrect? What's incorrect? Stonehenge sample incorrect. But that's what Aidan said it was. <sighs> Call Jason on scramble frequency. Unavailable. Leave a message. Jason, where are you? The sound sample didn't work out. We've missed something. I'm taking Aidan to Stonehenge. Hey. What about me? And you. You must have forgotten something, Aiden. Where is the sound? At the heel stone. That's all I know. Didn't Levant ever tell you where else he might look? <sighs> you must remember something. <sighs> no. What did you do when you came here with Levant? We talked. What about? Our hopes, our dreams. We, we recorded, we drank. Levant was fun. Bit of a trickster, you know. A trickster? How? He once played a trick on me. He hid somewhere around these stones. Where exactly was he? <sighs> Don't know. Can't remember. I could hear his voice, but I couldn't find him. The stones throw sounds around. He finally appeared near the heel stone. I need to check it. But you've already got your recording from around the heel stone. I want to feel the stone. Hmm? Here, help me. Feel for any unusual crevices or cracks. We should go, Mel. Wait! Here. Push here. This stone weighs 35 tons. What are you trying to do? Push here. <sighs> this section is going to slide. Now pull. Uh, a burial chamber. I can't see how deep it is, but there seem to be footholds. That must be where Levant hid. And that's the sound Levant was thinking of. We don't need a transcorder for that. Computer, record. Identing. Wind in burial chamber. Stonehenge. Got it. Shit! Agents! They've tracked me! Get in the chamber! What? Get in there! They won't see you! Danger. Find the drop. Ah! Aiden? Aiden? Mel, you're losing consciousness. Monitoring life systems. Attention. Levant? This is the dicta drive of Levant Talis. Levant, is that you? Mel, you are losing consciousness. You are losing consciousness. It'll go away, Mel. It's not the wind. Perhaps it's the whistling of the wind. Can we go now, Dad? Shh. Imagine that sort of thing going That's on in your head. Sound. It, won't it won't go. It won't go. It won't go. Levant. 
<sighs> Listen carefully. Dad? This dicta drive will trigger a message time for release at 1 a.m. on August the 11th, 2103. Say yes to accept. You frighten me. Yes. Message begins. This is Levant Tallis. This drive only recognizes the voice patterns of those I have pre-selected for access. Any rogue voice patterns will cause this drive to self-destruct. Enter your voice pattern. Levant, can you hear me? It's Mel. Voice recognition completed. Hello, Mel. We finally get to speak. Face to face. Face to face? But you're dead. Uh, this message is a cloned conversation constructed from a downloaded copy of what was once my living memory. As if I were here with you now. A safety copy of the human mind? <laughs> An audio clone? That's brilliant! How did you do it? I'm sorry, Mel. That information isn't stored. Our conversation will only contain data that will assist the configuration of my score. I'm assuming you have it. Yes. Then follow my instructions. Input the score from your computer to this drive. Once loaded, erase the score from your computer. Ready. Begin transfer. Computer, transfer score data to dicta drive and erase home file on completion. Levant? Yes? You know I was responsible for what they did to you. We're still talking. <laughs> sure. Hmm. I just think. Perhaps my spirit is sitting somewhere in the universe, recording the winds on a myriad other planets. I'd have you to thank for that. That's one way of looking at it. Perhaps one day you'll join me there. Help me record a few solar winds. I remember the times we spent here when you were a girl. Mm. This time I promise not to get too bored. <laughs> we must continue. Dicta drive display score. Good. All sections intact. Perform recent samples. Sample four is correct. It can't be. I've already tried it. It has to be recorded during the planetary conjunction. What on earth are you talking about? Saturn in Aquarius. The conjunction begins at 3 a.m. Tonight? You're joking. In two hours. And the transmission of the completed score must take place within the period of the conjunction. If that happens, I believe the score will disengage the harmony of the spheres. Harmony of the spheres? What kind of harmony? The harmony of planetary motion. As each planet spins on its axis, it creates its own vibration. All vibration is sound, so each planet has its own musical note. Jupiter is a C-sharp, 88 octaves below middle C. So the planets together create a chord? A chord of immense power. That's what the ancients feared most. They revered the harmony of the spheres, but they also knew of the destruction it could cause if a method of harnessing it fell into the wrong hands. So if Project Eclipse is that weapon, how will the West use it? It could freeze, even destroy all audio waves. Mute a whole civilization, the Eastern Hemisphere. Perhaps the entire globe. It would create chaos. An audio eclipse of the whole Earth? Th they want to mute the Earth? It'll happen unless my score prevents it. But how? Well, the ancients knew that certain frequencies of sound collected from stone circles could produce music. Once transmitted to the spheres, this music would create patterns of resonance and disable the chord. My score is structured to create precisely those patterns. If we can scramble the score into the machine and transmit it, we can destroy Project Eclipse. There's not much time. We've got to record the final sample. Uh, but wait, what about the ancient? Aiden said there was some kind of messiah, a modern-day ancient. Only that person could unlock the true power of the score. Well, I've built in every musical device I can think of to substitute the ancient. Now let's focus on getting that final sample. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you to the machine room. I'm pleased to inform you that Project Eclipse has completed its trials. We are less than two hours away from deployment. 
The machine is primed and ready to transmit the data. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Agent Daniels? What about chasing in the school? All our efforts will be worthless if we don't have their data. That they could interfere with any aspect of deployment. We must proceed. Saturn is in Aquarius. The weapon will only transmit within this precise astronomical window. We are confident Jason will secure the data and that the machine will neutralize it before we transmit. Any questions? It's almost time. Ready to record the final sample. Countdown to conjunction. Eight seconds. Ident. Sample four. Take two. Got it. Dig to drive. Place the final sample in the score. Play and verify. It fits. Prepare to scramble score into the machine. Entering conjunction coordinates. Entering frequency 3.799. Transmitting. Transmitting. It's crashed. Arm Project Eclipse. Processing data. Project Eclipse armed. Request machine transmission of data. Downloaded. Machine primed to transmit Project Eclipse. What's the problem? Perhaps it's the level of the sample. Adjust it. Transfer at factor 20. It's not working. Stand by. Transmit data. Machine not responding, sir. Something's blocking us. I'm trying other channels. Okay, we've got something. The signal's tuned into the machine, but not latching on. It's not going to make it. Keep trying. Any progress? Weapons armed, but there's a glitch. Interference. Put me on to Jason. We have to get that data. Connected. Jason, where are you? I'm near Stone Page. What's going on? Zards. Can you hold them? I'm sending back up. Get the score, do you hear me? If you want to build the next machine, you'll secure the data. This mission depends on it. Success is your only option. Commander. Jason to Commander, do you read me? It's down. Shit. Now what? The score's perfect and we're mid-conjunction. We're losing time. Something still doesn't fit. I'm checking. It's all absolutely correct. Everything is in its place. Oh, wait. Well, that's it. It's the opposite. The score's correct, but it's... it's too correct. Too correct? How can it be too correct? Oh, that's my fault. The piece is centered on harmonic language, on everything fitting into its exact place. I don't get it. A 20th century Viennese school. We'll fill that gap in your knowledge someday. Can't wait. The language of the piece isn't about harmony at all. The final sound should make a score that creates disharmony, and in turn, disharmony with a sphere's chord. Play the sound backwards and with a higher pitch. That'll create disharmony. Right. Mel, what's going on? I was worried. Did you get the sound? We got it, but... We? Le what do you mean? Levant left a virtual conversation. I'm helping him with the final sound. We're almost there, Jason. Let's try a transmit again. Give me the drive. There's nothing you can do, Jason. We've tried everything. We're doing all we can to transmit the score. It's just the final sound. It needs changing in some way. What way? Get down, agents! Damn. Jason to Peter. The drive's here. Hold back a moment. We're holding, Jason. Ready to come in when you give the word. What have you done, Jason? I could have built the next machine, if I wanted to. In exchange for this little piece of music here. But I have other plans. Don't do it, Jason! Give me the drive! Go to hell! You screwed me, now screw yourself! <laughs> ah! You 
cut my face. See how stupid that was? Now I've got the drive. Do yourself a favor. How does the final sound need changing? Tell me and I'll buy you safe passage. I don't know. It was too complicated. If I line this laser up with your ear, is the answer any clearer? I told you, I couldn't work it out. Well, then why don't we ask your music teacher, Levant? Or perhaps I should hand you over to Peter's. I'm sure he has some new techniques he'd like to try out on that wonderful body of yours. You're sick, Jason. Now ask Levant. Listen, Jason, we can stop the government. Think of all those innocent people. Ask him. My memory banks recognize your voice. Jason, isn't it? Someone I once trusted. You covered for Mel in the machine room. Don't shoot, Jason. I'll give you access. I have the information. No, Levant! I predict the sound will need reversing and the pitch increased by two and a half semitones. Disharmony. The final sound will modify the score to clash with anything that's in harmony. <laughs> Our very post-New Age punk. Not that either of you would know what that is. Do it. Mel, modify the final sound. Done. Play it through. <laughs> Platinum disc winner, Levant. What's the status of the score? It's good. Check it can access the machine. Checking. Positive. Access is possible. Hold access. Jason, what's going on? We need the drive. Stay back. I don't want it harmed. Listen to me. No. You listen to me. We need the drive safely back at base now. I don't think you heard me, Peters. I said wait. The drive's going nowhere. The score will be copied to my palm corder within seconds. I'll transmit it to the machine unless I get 20 million transferred to my account. Don't be stupid, Jason. Who's going to give you that? Hand it over. Well, let me show you what happens if I press this. No, wait. And I want safe passage out of the hemisphere. I'll take your chopper and a jet fueled and waiting. Then you get the score. Tell the commander that's my final offer. Peters to HQ. Sir, I have a message from Jason. I heard it. Hold for a moment. Let me check. It's Jason. Could he really scramble into the machine from a palm quarter? He's a wizard. Double doctorate. Could even build the next weapon on a speck of dust given the chance. What's the machine's status? Double red and searching for self-repair. He's already bypassed the machine's filters. If he transmits, it, it could take us out. What if we shut down the machine and reboot a fraction of a second later? Wouldn't it block his moment of transmission? There's not enough time for a reboot, sir. Shit! Come in, Peters. Tell him we'll do it. You've got it, Jason. Check your palm corder. You'll see the money's been transferred. Let me see. <laughs> Healthy. That's a hell of a lot of vintage Black Sabbath. Might even buy my own tribute band. Now leave me a clear path. Don't try anything. One shot and I'll trigger the palm corder and Project Eclipse will be Ozzy Osbourne into history. Agreed. There's just one more message I have to leave. And it's for Levant's drive. No, don't! Don't do it! They don't make them like they did in the 20th century. Be careful, Mel. Pretty fingers and red-hot drives don't mix. Oh, and say hello to the commander for me. Get the girl. Where is she? She was there a moment ago. The mist's too thick. Peter's to base. Reading you. Jason's on his way. What about Mel? Take her alive. We've lost her in the mist. Can you send a search with probes? Shit. <sighs> Requesting Dick to drive reserve memory and battery backup. Come on. You can do it. Power up on reserve. Come on. Power on, for God's sake! No, come in, please. Levant, yes. Come on, you can do it. Requesting reserve memory. I need your help. Levant! There's little time. Can we transmit the score on reserve? The score's incomplete. Incomplete? It can't be! Wait, maybe the damage to the driver's confused your processing abilities. No, Mel. It still won't work. But it locked onto the machine and went through all the filters. It did, but it'll never transmit. I hoped it would work, but we still need a final sound. The final sound? I thought we had that. No. 
the final sound from the Ancients' Messiah. So Aiden was right. We need the Ancient, the needle in the haystack. The government will use their weapon and there's no score in place to stop it. You knew about the Ancient, but the truth is you never bothered to look for him. You were too conceited, thought you could create all the material yourself. Oh, I did look, Mel. I found the lineage. I looked for descendants. And I found more than I could ever have imagined. Who was he? Me, Mel. He was me. You? Now I am confused. You're telling me you're a direct descendant of the ancients? The knowledge drove me and your mother apart. She thought I was losing it. But what about the missing sound? I never carried that crucial sound. The sound that would save the Earth. I wasn't the last of the Ancients' line. Nearly, but not quite. So if what you say is true, I'm the next in line. But I'm no messiah. I'm sorry, Mel. Sorry? There's nothing to be sorry about. How could I be the messiah? If I was, I'd know if I had the missing sound. Yeah, you have it, Mel. It's yours. Oh, that's crazy. You know me. I was never any good at music. Never interested in it. You have it inside you. I don't have any sounds inside me. Except... No. Not... It's true, Mel. It's not tinnitus. It's the sound the ancients search for. No, I don't believe you. You are the one. I can't be. Look, say for one ludicrous moment you're right. If you knew, why didn't you say anything? Why go to all the trouble of composing substitute sounds when you knew I had it in me all the time? You finally got my support. I was here for you, wasn't I? I worked for years, Mel, to find a means of producing an alternative sound. Or a way of getting that sound from you, copying it in some way, from your, your implant or the machine without... Without what? Without asking you to listen to the sound and perform it as you hear it. I'm no performer. But if it was the sound we were looking for, I'd have given it a go. How do you understand, Mel? I couldn't. The story of the ancients has a final chapter. The one chosen to deliver the sound will die once it's been performed. It's the necessary sacrifice that protects the Earth from the sphere's cord. Sir, Jason's at the airport and we've got the score. The machine's learning its protocol. Once complete, there's nothing they can throw at us that we can't deal with. How long until transmission? Ten minutes to the end of conjunction. System error, sir. What kind of error? The score's final sound. It's not right. Maybe Mel kept one sound back. Or Jason did. Perhaps he made a deal with Mel to sell us a dummy. Chances are he took the bait like we did. But we're in trouble if Mel still has a copy of the complete score. Can we fix ours? We're searching for a match for the final sound. Once the machine has it, we'll be ready. The conjunction will soon pass. The drive will soon expire. It's odd, isn't it? Funny, if you like. How the thing you've ignored becomes the one thing that really matters. Look how many years music meant nothing to me. There must be some kind of law relating to that. Only sword's law, Mel. <sighs> Isn't there another way? I'm sorry, Mel. I never wanted it to come to this. I die, or all sound is lost forever. Not much of a choice, is it? I well, know, you know. It's up to you, Mel. What would Mum have done? She exposed herself to a virus trying to save lives. Is that what's expected of me? She was strong, Mel. She was brave. Always. And you are, too. Sacrifice. Seems to be written in our genes, doesn't it? Oh, sometimes life's theme plays out differently for some of us. Okay. What do I need to do? Can you remember the pitch of the tinnitus? The drive's going down. Stay with me, Dad. I'm with you, Mel. Any luck? We've got a sound match and a four-minute window before we lose the conjunction. One more test to be certain. How long will it take? 30 seconds. Proceed. Then transmit to the spheres. Drive. Maintain backup systems. Levant? Levant? 
Can you remember the pitch of the tinnitus? Can I ever forget it? There's still space on the drive. Sing it, record it, place the material, and transmit. I have it. I'm ready. Let's hear it. I never thought I'd hear you sing again. You haven't done that since you were a child. Do you remember what I used to call you? You never liked it. By your full name? Melody. Didn't you once say the one greatest thing is music? Take everything else away, but music will still be inside us. Sing, Mel. Goodbye, Dad. Go ahead. Record. Recording. <laughs> Rearranging material. This drive will terminate at the end of transmission. Goodbye, Matt. Status. The machine's loading our revised score. Reading. Learning. Classified safe. We're ready. Transmit Project Eclipse. Transmitting. Transmitting score. August the 12th, 2103. Don't forget, Mel. We'll meet again. I'll be recording the sounds of the solar winds. I love you, Melody. I was always proud of you. Drive terminated. Project Eclipse error, sir. Try again. Sir, they've retransmitted. Half a second ahead of us. All filters have been bypassed. Can't you block it and transmit Project Eclipse to the spheres? We're trying, but they've got there first. Use override. No response. They're locked onto the spheres' cord. What about Mel? Get me Peters. Connected. Peters, get to Mel. She's transmitting. Stop her at all costs. Sir, we found her. She's dead. Bring the body back. All of it. We don't want any scramblers making her a martyr. Put the word out. She's working for us. Out. Sir, monitoring harmony of the sphere's cord. The machine is transmitting their score to the spheres. Monitoring. It's modulating the sphere's cord. Too late. They've done it. The sphere's harmony is changing. vibrations one second before the end of conjunction. No! Block it! It's set. Set? How can it be? Look at the technology we've got. It's over. We can't do anything. Not until the next conjunction of Saturn, Mars and Jupiter. When's that? Give or take a few days. It's, um, it's a... It's what? Completing my calculations. It's a thousand years.
What took you so long? I had to save the earth, clean my teeth and check on the human race. Manned? They're on speaking terms, east and west. Ah. And the government? Out on its ear. The new lot caught up with Jason in double quick time. In any case, how could I have found you any quicker? You never mentioned which planets you'd be collecting sounds on. I definitely did. Neptune, fastest winds in the system. I said... Shh. Listen. What is it? Nothing. Isn't that great? <laughs> no tinnitus. Just the sound of solar winds and... And what? You were right. Take everything away and music is still inside us. That's good. Maybe you're ready for me to fill in a few gaps in your musical knowledge. What kind of music is it? Someone had to benefit from Jason's amazing collection of music. Ever heard of Elton John? No. Goodbye, Yellow Brick Road from 1973. Harmony. That's all for this week. We hope you enjoyed today's radio play. Please like and subscribe, and hit that notification button. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.